With furnaces blazing round the clock, there's no escaping costly energy bills at this independent UK glass processor. The high cost of powering its state-of-the-art toughening machines to 700 degrees C and everything from cutters and polishers to the 30-strong vehicle fleet all have to be reflected in its prices. Managers here agree with warnings from business organisations that Europe's reliance on expensive energy imports is damaging competitiveness. Well, our major cost is in the furnaces that we use to temper the glass. Uh, we have two furnaces which are running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They consume a, a huge amount of energy, of electricity, and that is the core of our business. Obviously, when we hear about countries such as the US or China who have cheaper electricity, uh, they're able to produce cheaper products and people are buying from them. It makes it very difficult for us to compete in any sort of climate. For companies like this, getting US star relief on its energy prices isn't going to happen. That's because Europe is running low on its own indigenous supplies of fossil fuels. It's now reliant on Russia for 30% of its oil, its coal and its gas imports. Prices are extra high in some EU countries because of side deals with Russia to secure supplies. So far, all the moves towards financial integration haven't been matched by progress in unblocking its energy islands or building new grids and storage facilities. Industry specialists say a wider range of suppliers to Europe would help. There are other options that are being developed, more liquefied natural gas, for example, from the Middle East, potentially gas transported across the Atlantic from the United States into Europe. But the big question is, is that going to have a big impact on prices? Now, because gas is glo increasingly globally traded, then those price impacts are very uncertain. They may not be huge, but I think it would really help in terms of the overall security and resilience of the European energy system. It's crystal clear that it's cheaper shale gas which is boosting US manufacturing. Without that on tap, Europe's best hope of lowering prices and improving security of supply is to import energy from more places and get gas and electricity flowing better across and around the EU. Nigel Cassidy, BBC News.